Hey, this is Justin from NetGate, and in our previous multi-instance management video, we went over how to set up and manage your firewalls with the included web GUI. In this video, we'll focus on what drives this functionality behind the scenes, the API. We've provided a software toolkit, which includes the multi-instance management open API spec, as well as a couple example scripts that you can use to create your own tooling. For multi-instance management, we'll go over using these scripts, as well as some simple curl scripts to query the API and pull information from our firewalls. You can load the open API spec into an editor like Swagger and browse all the endpoints that are available to you. Now for our examples, we have four firewalls, firewall one, two, three, and four. Firewall one is where we're going to run our controller. And we have that running already. So we can log in and see our dashboard here. We can see the status of this particular firewall and see that it is online. We'll use a Python script to enroll the rest of our firewalls. But before we do that, we have to prepare our firewalls to be enrolled into multi-instance management. We'll do that by going to system, advanced, then multi-instance management tab, enable, and hit save. Now we'll go ahead and do the same for the rest of our firewalls. Now that multi-instance management is turned on, we can go ahead and take a look at our Python script. Again, this is all provided to you on GitHub, which will be linked down in the description. Our first script looks like this. But before we can use this script, we have to make some changes. First will be our controller URL. In this case, ours is 10.255.255.215. On port 8443, you'll change this to the IP address of your controller. You'll also need to give the script the list of firewalls you intend to enroll. As you can see here, for this example, it's already set. Once you're done, you can run the script using this command line. In this lab environment, all the passwords are set to NetGate, but you should ensure all yours are set more appropriately for your network. Let's go ahead and run this command line. And it looks like it worked. If we go back to the multi-instance management dashboard and refresh, you can see all four systems are now populated and online. Using the API for different functions can be very powerful and very fast. For our next example, we're going to iterate through all four of our devices and get device information for each. Here's that script. And again, you'll need to change the controller URL to match your own. We'll run this script using this command line. And send it off. And there's our device information. Now this one here is our controller. And as you can see, we've also pulled the aliases that are configured on this device. This is just an example of what you can do with the multi-instance management API. Next, I'll go ahead and show you some simple bash scripts that you can run using curl to query the API. Here we have three example bash scripts. These scripts are not included in the software toolkit. It's just an example that was quickly thrown together to show how easy it is to work with the API. Now this is what the first script looks like. The controller username and password have been base64 encoded and it should be ready to run. Let's try this one out. And there it is. Notice how quickly it outputs the results. Here, we can see every firewall managed by multi-instance management.
Here's the LAN interface. Here's the LAN interface. Here's our PFSense Plus version number. And there's much more information. Now you can use this information to perform other queries or even to change the configuration of your firewalls. The next script will give us a summary of the controller itself. Here's what the script looks like. It's a very simple script, and you can see we're still using curl to perform this. I'll go ahead and run it, and there's our output. Now, our final script will give us update information for the controller. Here's what this script looks like. We'll go ahead and run this one. And just like that, there's our system update settings for the controller. That will cover it for our showcase of the multi-instance management API. We recognize that each organization has unique needs and the Multi-Instance Management API offers the flexibility and functionality required to meet your goals. Using the API is straightforward, enabling you to create powerful tools tailored to your organization. Now for additional information, make sure to take a look at the description. I've included links to the release notes, blog, and our previous video on this as well. Now I wanna thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more news, updates, and guides from NetGate. I'm Justin, and I'll see you next time.